Hello everyone, welcome to Belgrade, Serbia. We are standing right in front of the Honda dealership or the official registered dealership of Delta Auto in Belgrade. Today, I'm going to present you with my favorite new toy. So like I said, welcome back again. The reason I mentioned Dental Auto is that they are also the official distributors of BMW for Serbia. And my story starts two years ago when I traded in my BMW X3 and sold my small car in order to find a perfect family car. It, it was a really, I had to do a lot of research, I tried a Toyota Corolla, I did this and that, and then I finally, finally found this car. I'd actually seen it at the Belgrade Car Fair in 2017, I think that was the year it was uh, presented first. I totally fell in love with it, but I had this principle that I never buy a car the first year it appears. You know, they always have those baby mistakes, the, the things that they... It, next two or three years they fix all the mistakes before they make the facelift or before they finally finish the production in five years. Anyway, this is the best car I have ever owned and believe me I'm 51 I've had like 50 cars so far and I would never ever change it for anything in my life. It is a perfect combination for sports driving, family driving, as you see I have a baby seat in the back, uh, the comfort is, 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 is totally fantastic. Um, at the same company, Honda, Belgrade, Del Toto, I bought a Honda Accord six or seven years ago. This car in the back seat, in the rear seat, is more comfortable, at least my wife says that, and I believe her because she doesn't complain when I drive. And it combines everything. The engine is smooth silky smooth it's it's so quiet you can't believe it. It, it it's almost like a hybrid when you drive slowly through town the cvt functions perfectly there's no 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 lag no turbo lag but when you hit it when you floor it this 180 horsepower beast can do a lot on the highway with these 235 tires on it I'm like, I'm, I think I'm faster than a majority of uh, much, much more expensive cars. So, as you can see, it is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, there is absolutely nothing that I would change. It has the lane control thing. It has the adaptive cruise control. So on the highway, you can basically raise your hands off the wheel. It, it, it warns you that to return your hands on the wheel, but it does everything. I mean, it has everything. This feature, the brake hold, is I think the best thing they've ever come up with. It's similar to the old automatic shifts where, um, you know, when you're on an uphill, you just lay off the, the brake pedal. But this brake hold is even better because regardless, if you're uphill, downhill, wherever, you just push the brake and it holds. The second you apply the gas pedal, you start. So basically, it's nearly fully automated. You're there just to press the gas pedal and sometimes turn the wheel a bit, even though it does that itself. So it's best buy. It's a family car. It is so spacious. The rear trunk has like, um, I'm not going to go into the liters and boot capacity thing, but a, my BMW X3 had the same boot size. So I fit the same stuff in here that I did in the BMW. So if you're going for a trip, there's enough space. If you're in town, it's a quiet, 
economical, very economical. Uh, over a year and a half, my average consumption has been 7.8 liters per 100 kilometers. So there is absolutely nothing that they could offer or anyone could offer for me to change this car. Full stop. Wait, what? I said I wouldn't change my car for another car, but Honda, what in the hell is this? I feel like Marc Marquez all of a sudden. What is this? What does it say on the side? Triple R? I didn't even know they had a triple R. What is this? It's a bloody beast it is. So yeah, wow, Honda, you have outdone yourself. This thing is amazing. I have been riding motorbikes since I was 14, I'm 51 now, so that's 37 years of motorbiking. And the last motorbike I bought was two years ago, because I, I, I simply couldn't find anything that satisfied my needs. You know, everything, it had the old gauges, it had this, it only had two wheels, but this thing, this thing has so much electronics on it, all in suspension. I mean this display, this da dashboard, that's what I'm talking about. Motorcycles in the past 10 years, they, they, I, I, I didn't see any technical upgrade or achievement, but this, this thing is totally, it's, 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 I feel like Luke Skywalker on one of those sci-fi things riding through the Tatooine desert. It, it, it's really amazing. The amount of electronics on this bike is amazing, but should, I changed my Honda Civic for this triple R and I forgot to mention SP last time. So let's make a short checklist. Over 300 kilometers per hour, check. ABS cornering, the full, 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 full set of electronics, everything. And finally, is it family friendly? Yeah, no, I don't, <laughs> I really don't think my wife and kid would appreciate that. And the fast, final point being this gadget or contraption is more expensive than my Honda Civic. So it's a no, unfortunately, but meh. <laughs> Wait, what, what is this now? Honda, you, you, you're killing me today. What, what, what's going on? Where's my Honda Civic? Wait, this is a Honda Civic. What, what is Type R? Wow. Wow, wow, this looks amazing. This, 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 but I've, I've, I've never seen a Type R with black seats. Wow, this is really, really fascinating. Okay. Okay, um, let's take a look around, shall we? Oh, 
Holy moly. Last year I was in this salon and I saw Thai Par, but this, this one is different. It, it is definitely different. It doesn't have the GT spoiler thing, or the, what they call it a wing. It actually has a spoiler, so it's, it's very discreet. I have to be sincere. In this same salon, last year, there was a GT standing there, and I thought, wow, I really have to have this car. The only trouble was at the time, it was gray, and I like, oh, I even have a red Honda emblem to match the Type R, right? And I really like black. I always wear black. I like black cars. They're not very convenient for maintain, maintenance or cleaning or even in the summer, they're too hot. When you touch the, the, the car, you know, you can literally leave a part of your skin on, 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 on the car. But I love black cars. The GT last year was gray. It had a big wing like this and it really looked like a lethal weapon. I mean, I, it looked like, a, I, I think it could kill somebody. And I was, you know, like, contemplating should I, would I, in, in the meantime, um, someone bought it before me. And uh, Honda's manager told me, we'll contact you when we get another one. I said, yeah, but look, it, it, simply, it, it simply isn't doing it for me. I'm, I'm too old for this, it, it's too boyish, you know? The, 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 the rear wing is this size, the red seats, um, 20 inches, 20 inch rims, Belgrade potholes in the winter. I mean, of course you can downgrade them for the winter tires, but it, it, it wouldn't be a comfortable ride. So it is my great pleasure to present you the premiere of the Honda Type R Sport line. I think it's the first one you'll see on YouTube because I haven't seen it yet. Uh, the major buying point for me was the small wing. Check out the bolstered black seats with the red stitching, of course, like on my emblem, the Type R. They say that they're comfortable. Of course, I'm going to have to check that out and check out the rims. They are gray and they're 19 inches, which is much more convenient for, for potholes and driving in the winter here. And um, it, 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 simply, it simply goes better with the car. The, the 20s are too much. So the manager calls me up and says, listen up, George, we have this Euro spec coming up and it has black seats, it has 19 inches, and it has a spoiler, not a rear wing the three things that I wanted to change in the aftermarket. So I was like, okay, order, order it. It took me a year. I waited a year for this car to arrive. But now that it's here, what can I say? I'm absolutely fascinated. It is a piece of art. Check this out. I mean, everything is, 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 is discreet. You know, it's like the sleeper cars. No one, no one will actually notice the difference. Later on, I'll, put a comp I'll, I'll compare my old Civic to this one. But, you know, on the black car, you can't see this actual wing with the, with, with, with the ventilation here coming out. It, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not eye poking. Or the thing that I didn't like on the silver Type R, the GT, it's called a GT, sorry. And sorry, America, you can only get the GT. We Europeans can only get this model. Anyway, this faux carbon on the, sil on the silver or gray colored one really stuck out. I mean, it, it looked like it, was, um, it wasn't supposed to be there. But on this black one, it simply blends in. You, can't, you, you, if, if you have to take a close look to notice that it's carbon or faux carbon, whatever, I don't care. But it's, it's a nice sporty touch and it, it simply blends into the car. This intake here also blends in on the on the gray one everything is over oversized or oh it, 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 too noticeable on this car in the black color it is so discreet so this is the 2020 model and as everyone in america already knows 
with the GT. The front grille is larger. Yeah, it's like 13 or 17 percent more air coming in because they had overheating issues on track days. I'm not sure that I'm going to do any track days here, but um, the air intake is the same on, on, on the hood. Let me show you the engine. Check this out. And America, once again, sorry, but my engine has 320 or 316, but we'll round it up to 320 horsepower. You guys only get 306. Couldn't, never understand why, but I guess it's your safety regulations, whatever. But this is a 320 horsepower engine, and it is simply a work of art. Fantastic. One, one point that we just noticed, Check out, this is an additional issue. It has a pop-up hood system. That's just in a, a safety feature if you, uh, I don't want to mention it, but it, it protects pedestrians. And one of the things that I personally like and that I hate on modern cars, the car battery is visible. I mean, it's not like I'm ever going to open the hood because this is a Honda, so I don't have to repair anything. But one time I left the, my key in the ignition and I, uh, the battery ran low. And on one car, I couldn't find where the bloody thing was. It was somewhere in the boot, under the cover, and etc. I love it when the battery is visible like this. So this is a masterpiece of 320 horsepower. Speed, give me what I need. Going back to the interior. Um... It's basically the same, apart from the bolstered seats. But the buying or the selling point in my case is the back row. It's a four-seater, unlike my old Civic. And unlike the American version, I'll go around, wait a sec. Unlike the American version, the American version has a plastic compartment here which my wife would have killed me because my daughter can't then, when she wants, lie down over the plastic compartment. So this is a very important thing. And thank you once again, Honda. And sorry, America. And sorry, GT. But sport line rules. Of course, the fancy red seat belts, sport seat belts are in the back. And let me just take you back up front before we go to the boot. The seats are super plush, really. Everything is in Al Alcantara. I'm not sure that I love Alcantara, but if you guys comment and review it, I'll, I'll do another review for the driving, etc. But we'll get back to that later. So we have this new gear shift knob. It's uh, last year's model had a round thing. I'm really interested to see how this works. And a very important fact that uh, my 2019 Honda Civic didn't have, we finally have the volume button. There's a knob for the volume on, on, on this thing, so, so that, that is it. And another important thing, which I, I can't say I hate it, but on my old Civic and on this Civic, I guess, there's the USB port and the HDMI port here. And then on the old one, I'd have to plug in the cable in here get it somewhere through here and put my cell phone here to recharge and then this <laughs> cable will be dangling around here all the time and my wife would say why didn't they, did they make a, something like like more convenient they did I have a wireless charger now so it's 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 I'm very happy I, I, I simply love Honda thank you Honda so I took the sport and I wanted to take the sport plus because the sport plus with the 1.580 horsepower engine has this um, suspension, electronic suspension button. It also has the wireless charging, it has a sunroof. So I was really worried that I didn't have the additional, oh, no, no, I had the additional 2,000 euros to pay for the specs, but they didn't have the color in black. They only had it in red and <laughs> I've been past the red pay phase like 30, 30 years ago. So here we have a three uh, mode button, but you guys already know that. It, there's a Type R, there's a Sports, it's always, it always starts in Sports mode as, as its um, default and you have the comfort. Most important thing for me was 2020 model, Sportline, the comfort 
setting is even softer than it was before. And before it was very close to the Civic I had. And my wife swears that the back row for trips is fantastically comfortable. So I'm 100% sure and I certainly hope since I'm paying so much for this car that the comfort setting is good and what they did additionally uh, all the models until uh, this year the people had complaints of too much road noise you know stones pebbles coming into the wheels and stuff they said that the soundproofing in this year's model is much much better yet to be determined but let's hope it is um, not much else to say We'll go back to the trunk, which should be identical. And most importantly, let me just notice that the legroom for the back seat hasn't been lost due to the wide seats. They're only slightly wider, but they're padded up front. So the back, the full carbon back is, 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 is here, but the legroom hasn't been decreased due to the, the, the sports seats. So what I mean is, check out this gem i mean a really gem of a trunk or a boot or whatever you like to call it if you're british english or american english this boot is fantastic uh, two years ago i had a bmw x3 for traveling and um, you have to trust me on this this boot can take the same amount of luggage as an x3 only the additional space in the x3 is this this higher up space but if you fill that higher up space you have no rear vision so when you're driving so it's not safe check this boot out when we go on a trip i put two 24 kilogram suitcases so the regular airport ones two fit in here like this and i put two smaller like hand luggage suitcases on here and i still have additional space for two or three rucksacks and a bag or something so uh, we've been to Italy skiing, we've been to Greece, to the seaside, we've been everywhere. I didn't lack any space in this boot. This boot is the best selling point. I mean, not the best selling point, but the best uh, feature that you can uh, tell your wife that it's a family car, because this boot is amazing. Finally, um, I'm gonna finish this presentation of uh, my new toy uh, by turning the ignition on and I want you guys to hear the the exhaust sound everyone is complaining about the exhaust sound that it's it doesn't crackle and pop it's too quiet it's too this it's too that so Honda this year I don't want to get into the technicalities we'll do that another time uh, they, they, they actually put the the, the sound of the uh, exhaust uh, through they've, they've, they've channeled it filtered it through the sound system I had that feature when I had a Renault Clio Sport RS uh, a few years ago. Uh, I didn't like it that much. And as far as I'm concerned, I want to be fast. I don't have to be loud. I love the sleeper kind of cars. So I'm going to go in and ignite this beauty for the first time. So that's all for today. If you liked our review of uh, my new toy or the new Honda Civic Type R Sport line, sorry, America, you can't get that in America. Um, final feature, they said, um, I have a indicator for which speed I'm in. Of course, I can see that on the gear shift, but that's, that's like a, a new feature and um, like I said, if you'd like the review, please comment what you would like to see more or find out more about this car, because we're the first in the whole wide world to show you this car. And uh, in your comments, just any questions and uh, what you'd like to see. Next time, I plan on taking it for a test drive or giving my opinion and rating the car compared to the best car I had before, the Civic 1.5 180 horsepower. And um, that's it for now. Bye bye.